Hey everybody, Doc Brown here with a quick guitar lesson. I want to share a musical idea with you that I've been working on incorporating in my own playing. So I'm going to be showing this to you over a 2-5-1 in G major. So that means we're going to be using the chords A minor 7, D7, and G major 7. So this idea combines playing a chord, an arpeggio, and then some double stops. So let me play the whole idea for you, and then I'll go ahead and break down what's happening. So once again, 2-5-1 in G. Alright, so there's some sequencing of the idea going on there. Let's start on the A minor 7 chord. Basically, I'm starting with that shell voicing, so I have the, the root, the 7th, and the 3rd. And then what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to play an arpeggio. I'm going to approach the 3rd by a half step below and then head up to the 7th. So that means if uh, the 3rd is C, I'm approaching that by a half step below. It happens to be B, which is diatonic in this situation. So I'm going up to the 7th. And then I'm going to play double stops. And melodically on top, I have the 4th or the 11th going to the 3rd. And I'm just harmonizing that in diatonic thirds. So all together. Pretty cool. Next, I'm going to kind of repeat the same type of idea on the 5 chord. It's going to be a little different, though. So that's over the D7. I'm actually going to treat it as a D7 altered. So I'm going to use this voicing, um, if you know your standard Hendrix sharp 9 type of voicing, and then you add that flat 13 on top. I'm going to lose the root, and I'm actually going to play this on the inner set of strings here, the middle four. So that means I'm going to have 9, 10, 10, and 11 as my fret numbers. And that just facilitates the lick. But after that, I'm going to head up to an E flat minor arpeggio. I'm going to approach that by a half step below, just like the last chord. So that's my E flat minor arpeggio. I'm approaching it from a half step below, which happens to be the note D, which is the root of the chord we're working over. And if you're wondering why is he going up a E flat minor arpeggio, uh, check out your modes of melodic minor. Um, D7 altered, that's the seventh mode of E flat melodic minor there. So that's why I chose those notes. So once again. And then melodically, on top I have the sharp nine going to the flat nine, and then I'm just harmonizing that once again in thirds for my double stop. And that resolves to our G major seven with the fifth on top. In this instance, I am playing a G uh, major six nine voicing. And then I'm just gonna sequence that idea again. I'm gonna approach the third of that chord by a half step below, so starting on an A sharp. And then my double stops. And I do play a big full G major 7 voicing at the end with a 7 on top, so my melodic information. So all together. You could take it a step further if you wanted to maybe add the 5 of 2 chord, that E7 at the end so you could have it cycle around. That might sound something like this. So that's it with that E7 at the end. And basically when I get to that G major 7 chord, I'm doing the exact same thing. I am playing the thirds, uh, the double stops, on the G and B strings instead of the B and E strings. So I go... And then... I'm landing on that E7 flat 9. I have my melody leading right to that. And then that flat 9 leads right back to the fifth of the A minor 7, kind of how we saw earlier going with the D7 to G. So I hope you can use this lick um, over two fives, over other chord progressions, find different cool harmonies to check it out over besides the standard uh, major, minor, two five type of sounds. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And until uh, next time.